Oh! Shit, Sagittarius! Shit! Oh my god! Is it... I don't... Like... <laughs> the likelihood of this reading coming out is ridiculous. And here it is. Oh, I don't even know where to start. Okay, so you are completing a soul cycle, like finishing up some karmic loop that you were stuck in, some family shit that you were stuck in, something that you inherited that you did not want that you had nothing to do with assigning to yourself. It was kind of just plopped onto you, right? And there's a completion to that coming. And it's a completion because you done took the bull by the motherfucking horns and you said, this is how I want to live. This is my life. This is what I'm doing. I believe in me. I believe in my direction. I'm going to trust my instincts. And... I mean, you did it. You did it. This is you doing it. And you know what your reward is? I don't think you're doing it alone. There's definitely a soulmate up in here. I'm about to share these cards with you. But there is a soulmate up in here, Sagittarius, that is actually helping you to break those patterns. So it wasn't all by yourself. All by myself. Nope. You weren't alone. And I think that that's what makes it so beautiful is that you are not alone. You didn't do this all by yourself. In a connection with somebody else, with somebody that helped you change your life around, with a love, with a passion, with a familiar, with a soulmate, you know, somebody that was put in this earth to understand you, to support you, give you courage, give you strength. They're helping you all this conflict that was inside of you, this hate, this fear, this suffering, this anger at oneself, this self-destructive behavior, all of those things are being healed. And I really think it's to you that you're, you're someone just saved your life. You could be doing this for somebody as well. But there is just this sense of really finally dealing with all the pain, all the struggle, all the suffering, wrapping it up, making those cycles be fucking done and opening yourself up to happiness and foreverness. There's just such a huge burden that you've taken upon yourself. Uh, uh, there's a situation that you're actually stuck in or there was a situation that you were stuck in. If you're, this is a man, like I'm, I'm staring at this Norman cards here. If, if you are a male Sagittarius, you definitely just got up and got away from it. You called it out for what it was. You acknowledged it. You confronted it. This is you like, like taking care of it, confronting some sort of horrible family shit. Look at this. Some destruction within the family. Disorder, dysfunction, um, pain, stuff that caused you pain, stuff that caused you sorrow. But it's like, look it, you got a bright future. You got a bright future because you just moved away from this shit. You're traveling, you're back to doing what you love, like getting away from it, moving away from all of that shit. But you didn't just move away from all that shit. You hooked up with somebody that actually helped you let it go. Because you know as well as I do, Sagittarius, that you can move to the other side of the world but your problems come with you, right? When it's a soul problem, th those fucking problems will follow you everywhere. There's nowhere you could travel because it lives inside of you. This was you going on a journey to actually get rid of the baggage, to give yourself a new start. There was a purpose behind it. It wasn't just, I'm going to try to escape. No, it was just, I'm starting over because I'm done with this affecting me or impacting me. And there is that sense of when you opened up that door, 
you found something that I don't think you expected. There is a, a somebody in your life that is literally your other half. You want to know how I know? Not only do I get the soulmate card, not only do I get the soulmate card, I get the divine masculine and the divine feminine sitting next to each other. This is wholeness. This is coming full circle. This is figuring out how to take all the past, all the suffering, all the loneliness, all the rejection, all the hurt, and to put it back into balance. Now, of course, you know that Jupiter has gone direct, but that's not enough, right? We still got Saturn and Pluto. Their asses need to come direct, and they're about to come correct. They are. Your life is about to come correct. You're about to get uh, vindicated. This is almost like the eight ace of swords, like divine intervention coming in, stepping in and saying, holy crap. This old cycle that was still somehow dragging along on you, dragging you back, hurt, like you would carry it with you done those ties are cut and it's this person that is really helping you because it's a balance kisses they balance you out it doesn't matter who's the divine feminine divine masculine it doesn't matter what matters is they balance you out see they make you whole your heart is whole and this is healing Yellow is that color of healing, of being warmed, of feeling life, life, a li life. It's a new life, right? Filled with life. Now, if you're female Sagittarius, this isn't you, but this is somebody in your life that's bringing life or somebody in your life that you're helping them to get rid of the conflict of their families, you're helping them get away from it. You're helping them to like start over and confront it. Right? Going on a journey, going on an adventure that takes you away from all that, all that pain, all that suffering. The adventure that actually helps you overcome it. Somebody with a lot of potential and a lot of hope. Like a, a lot of a big future, a bright future. This is somebody with a very bright future. But he had to get himself out of this stuck cycle that he was in dealing with family bullshit. How are you being called to step up and lead? There you go, Sagittarius. You taking that you taking that step forward. You're being someone's being it to you you're being it to them somebody's way through somebody's way out somebody's new direction in life what inspires them almost like um kisses somebody's just like somebody's healer oh my god Break the chain, ancestral patterns, healing, and rewriting the future. Maybe you're actually helping people put pieces of, of their family back together again. Like, like literally coming in and helping the whole family to heal. And all that suffering and hurt. It's like you're, there, there was definitely a, a sense of balance that was thrown off. And they come back in and it's almost like they're the balancing factor. They're the, they're the healer. They're the one that exercises the demons. They're the one that makes everything, puts everything back into the right places. They're the, they're the, the conduit for healing. You're the conduit for somebody's healing. Especially if you're a female, there's a sense of you coming into a man's life and just helping. Helping him put all the pieces in the right order. There could also be a sense of if there was conflict between you and his family, it being done, it being over with. You could either the two of you getting away from it and just deciding we have to focus on us. We're the ones that are important. The, we're the future, right? Or, 
or there's just a sense of actually making peace with whatever conflict was happening or going on in the family. Simply just stepping up, taking the lead, taking the initiative and saying, all right, let's make this right. Because I don't want to hate my mother-in-law or I don't want to not be able to talk to my my in-laws or or I just I can't do that. So let's start on let's let's do what needs to be done. It's like you're taking that first step toward healing this situation. You're going to get it done. It's going to help one way or the other. Even if you guys have to be like, if we can't see eye to eye, then we're done. We're leaving. We love you, but we need to be happy. Right. Either way. This, this suffering, this family conflict, it's not going to take over your lives anymore. There's healing here. You're breaking it. You're, you're changing it through your faith, through your love, through your wisdom, through your experience. Helping somebody heal their ancestral patterns or they're helping you, but, or you could be helping each other. <clears throat> Let's get into the main reading. Oh, whoa, this person is definitely your soulmate, Sagittarius. Let's get a little deeper, Sag, 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 Sagittarius, Sagittarius. Let's get a little bit deeper. Let's get a little bit deeper. How does this card of all cards come out? Take the lead. You've literally stepped up into somebody's shit and you're making manure out of it. You're figuring out how to make everything work out. You're taking the first steps forward into the direction of the future, whether that's away from this conflict and these crazy ass people who just will not, no matter what you try to do, they won't let you help. They won't, they won't listen to you. Then you're moving away from them or you're going in. Maybe somebody who's very conflicted. If there is somebody, especially if it's a Leo, maybe there's a Leo in your family who is very conflicted, who has a lot of stress, a lot of strife. You're stepping up. You're taking the lead. You're, you're making, you're, you're healing that wound. You're confronting those issues. Damn. Damn. Oh my God, I can't even tell you. Take time out. Maybe you're going on a little bit of a break or a vacation, but this is like mama bear energy. There's just a sense of, I got to make this right. Maybe for the family's sake, maybe for the children's sake, I got to make this right. I got to, I got to, like, we can't, we can't be living amongst this kind of craziness our whole lives. We got to heal. Like, cut, stop, stop, time out. So everybody stop yelling. Let's figure out another way to do this. Because you know that there's something worth protecting here. There's something worth saving. There's something worth rescuing. However you want to put it. Be here now. In this moment. Looking at the beauty. Looking at, looking at only the good things. Only the, the sweetness. Seeing the beauty. This is Libra energy. This is Libra season. There you go. What I say, there's a balance in Libra season. There's a balancing of the divine feminine with the divine masculine. There's a sense of equilibrium, making somebody see their softer side, their gentler side. You know, making somebody see that the, both of you care about the same thing. You're just coming about it from a two different situations. It's like getting people focused on the same thing. I don't know where I'm looking. Know your worth. And don't be afraid to let it shine. Don't let somebody ask you, hey, little skunk, why are you hanging out with flowers? You're trying to cover up who you really are? No, I just like the fucking flowers. I hang out where I want to because it gives me joy and happiness. This is also seeing the good in a stinky situation. You know, this is, this is a sense of just enjoying the sweetness of life. And putting yourself into a situation where you don't feel like you're constantly on the defensive. Be at home. See, this is about removing the fucking stink from the home. 
whatever is happening, whatever stinking things up, whatever it has been pushed below the surface. So we don't want to talk about it. We don't want to talk about it. I don't want to talk about it. You're confronting it now. In defense of you just want to feel happy. A home should be a place where you feel that you're loved, that you're comfortable. And maybe you finally, for the first time ever, have found a place that you want to make home. And in defense of that, you're like, look, we got to figure this shit out. The universe is on your side. What is this? Is This is Taurus energy. Jupiter. 100%. This is you, lucky motherfuckers. You're going to have all the resources that you need. And I think somebody from the other side is going to, it's, they're like, they're going to, they they want the peace. They want the amends. They want to, um, for everybody to come together. They, they want it. They don't want this to be craziness, you know? So you're going to, you're going to get the help. You're going to, you're going to, you're going to get the, um, support. But it'll also have the resources. Whatever the resources are. Now, Taurus energy is usually about money. So you could be building a new home. Getting a new home. Getting the resources for a new home. Right? Getting out of a fucking situation where you have to live with family that drives you crazy. And now you're going to... You finally, all of a sudden, you have room. You have time to actually go have a home of your own. Build a home of your own. Wow. That could be... There's also sexual healing here. For real. Slow and steady wins the race and lay a solid foundation. You're rushing into something. You're going headlong. You're not really looking at it. But you feel very, very secure in that you know what you're doing. Because it's really not about... So maybe you're not building your home. Maybe you're just kind of like trying to like clear the way or clear the path for it. Because slow and steady wins the race. No, you're going headlong. This is fast. Speeding into it, you feel, but you still feel good. You still feel secure about it. But there could be a sense of impetuousness about your behavior, which makes sense because you're fucking Sagittarius and that's just how you function in the world. Don't worry, Papa Jupiter's got your back. The abundant universe will provide. There is something that you're going headlong into. That could be the purchasing of a new home. I'm just letting you know. Now, make your dreams a reality and love is all around. Oh, okay. Sparrows better. Nightingales better watch out for that spider web. But there is that sense of you making the decisions now. You call, But this is grandmother energy. Maybe calling up your grandmother, talking to your grandmother, uh, making amends, talking to your mother. There is just this sense of like putting it. Oh, my God. My dog scared me. She just jumped up on the bed. You know, um almost this sense of like just let's have a good time can we can we just have a good time if you even if you're going to be an old curmudgeon then i'll just like smile and make fun of you that kind of energy but this is also a sense of sort of you finally being able to reconnect with where you come from without a sense of obligation or torment, but instead a sense of celebration of, yes, this is where I come from, but it is not where I am headed. And that's why you are liberated from it, you know, because you now know it has no power over you. You're not stuck there. It's not the only option. No, you have a fee. I, you just can't get a better reading than this. I'm Spirit has a plan and miracle. the miracles are endless. You just broke the fuck through, Sagittarius. This is little baby Buddha right up in here. He always had a, he always had a grand design. And this could also be your perspective on things now. Like looking out and seeing the aerial perspective. Or just a sense of there's something more that's coming. It's a bigger picture. It's, it's for something more important, like seeing something outside of your ego and yourself, seeing that there is a purpose to do, make these decisions and, and, and to do these things. Like there's, it's, it's for the, the greater good. It's not just because you need it or you want it because maybe you don't. But there is this sense of it's for the greater good. And it is. And the miracles and the abundance that it's going to bring into your life, you have no fucking clue yet. You can't even see. Once again, this is Taurus energy. This is money. Money is coming in. It could very well be through family. You heal this conflict 
you heal this these conflicts with family and all of a sudden it's like you have more money you have abundance uh, it's like it's like your abundant character your abundant personality that strength of character to do the right thing is actually hooking you up with instant karma good karma There's just abundance coming into your life and somehow it could be through inheritance or, you know, somehow it's coming into your life. Just because you're bringing joy into somebody's life. Oh my God. I like sing your own song. You're liberated. You're free. You are are now free from all those old ties and chains of sadness, of judgment, of abuse, of PTSD. You're, you're liberating and you're also liberating others from it too. There's no more burdens. There's no more payback. There's no more you owe me. There's just what where we are right now is where we earned being. We're just going to enjoy this from this point forward. This is a happy fucking days. This is a happy fucking song that you're singing, you're free. You liberated yourself. I know, why would you go into tarot? Because I want to see where this is going. But let's look at the angel messages first, because I want to see. Oh, I can't. Oh my God. Oh. I can't even tell you. I can't even tell it. Like, this is such a, this is, ooh, just give me a second. Okay. Forgiveness. Yeah, somebody hurt you. Probably part of your family. Yeah. They made you doubt your self-worth. They made you doubt everything. But you know what? Now they have no power over you. You know why they have no power over you? Because you released their power over you. You forgave them. You let it go. It's like, what do, I'm happy now. I don't, I don't hate you. I don't want you unhappy. I'm good, man. I'm, you're good, Sagittarius. Forgiveness. Let the past go. What did it say? Oh, I, you can't make this shit up. Let go. Let go. Let the past go. Clear your heart and mind through forgiveness. And what is the heart and mind? It's the balance, the divine feminine, divine masculine, the, the, the heavens and the earth, the, a balance, that balanced space. Now it's returning by letting go, just by like letting it go, forgiving, being like bygones, be bygones, bygones, bye. Determination. I can't. This is a beautiful reading. Determination, perseverance, and patience will lead to a positive outcome. In other words, you set your mind in that direction, and that's what makes it so. It's not, it's just all happening to you. You made decisions that allowed it to happen to you, and that's why you created the good karma, because we, in, we, in making good decisions, you made the world that you're going to live in. And that world is a good place that of infinite possibility. You, you set the pace though. Love. What I tell you that love had so much to do with this. Love has everything to do with this. The heart of love is the heart of creation. You, all of this sprang out of love. This new love, this new love in yourself, this new love with somebody else. This love, it all came from love. Love is is the key to everything here and the angels brought it to you because you insisted you're like i deserve love i deserve more than i have right now i deserve beautiful things i deserve happiness and when you believed it in yourself it came outside of you i should rephrase that it manifested outside of you the heart of love is the heart of creation. All is possible through love. All is worthwhile for love. May all you think and feel reflect love's eternal truth. And that I felt in my heart chakra. So all is worthwhile for love, including forgiving and letting the past go. 
including that, including patching things up with the family, letting it go, letting it be done, because it's more important. This love is more important because the love is the future. The pain is the past. Oh my God. Man, you're going to have me crying. I love happy endings. Positive thinking. Positive thinking. <laughs> what a card, right? Positive thinking is vital in creating a healthy and abundant life. A positive attitude along with positive beliefs and thoughts are crucial ingredients for creating happiness. Don't worry. Think. Love. And you got love too. And that's it. This focus on just living in love and being in love. That's what it was, 100%. And maybe it was that soulmate that you found, but I promise you, they wouldn't have even found you if you hadn't started making decisions that put you on the path to healing and vibrating at a frequency where they could find you. You had already decided to love by the time you met that person to love and they helped to heal and show you the way. Really, this is about clarifying clarification, a restart, and a happy, abundant life that you can look forward to. Please join me for tarot. I want to get deeper into this. The link is below. I'll see you guys over there.